to your day this weekend. We're sure there's ham on the menu along with scalloped potatoes, maybe some kielbasa and Polish coffee cake, but how about something different for Easter dinner this weekend? Chef Shireen Croak joins us this morning with an Easter pasta salad. But first of all, we have to say congratulations because <laughs> I just called you Chef Shireen Croak. So you have a new name. I have a new name. I'm a married woman. Yay. I am officially off the market. <laughs> Very good. Congratulations. And I know we're talking Easter Thank this you. weekend, but this dish could be great for like a bridal shower or maybe yes. a baby shower, you know, whatever yes. uh, might be happening this season. This sounds like the perfect dish for that. I would say this is my number one um, pasta salad that's requested by my clients, um, making this for a lot of Easter's this week um, and really good for any barbecues. So you're oh, having okay. a barbecue, you have uh, ribs on the thing, throw this in the refrigerator in the morning, call it a day, you're at the lighthouse or, or whatever, make it easy for yourself. It's ready to go. So, so how do we make this? So we already did our pasta okay. and I popped it in and I'm sorry, I popped it in and I did this beautiful cacheque um, pasta, it's Italian pasta, it looks beautiful. Uh -huh. And so we're going to dive in and I'm going to do all the little mozzarella balls. Now you can do um, any kind of mozzarella balls if they're larger, just cut them in half. Okay. And let's do half of your amount of um, basil, just because we want to top the basil mm -hmm. off at the top so it looks really pretty. And then we do a little bit of smashed and minced garlic. So I smashed mm. it first, and then I minced it. Yum. Then I'm going to just add a little bit of salt into there because we need to bring out all of those fresh flavors. And then I'm going to toss in our half tomatoes. They are I, you can use any kind of cherry tomatoes. I like the bo the cherry bombs from Costco. Oh, they're so um, good. <laughs> this is what they look like. They're fantastic. Lots of flavor. Love mm -hmm. them. Yep. And then we have a little bit of oregano. So I'm going to do about a tablespoon of oregano, maybe a little bit more just because we can. Mm -hmm. And then with red pepper, make sure that you're using a little bit, even if you don't like spice, just mm -hmm. for the flavor. Now, if you want it a little spicy with a little tang to just it. Just toss a little add more. Add <laughs> a little bit more. Yep. <laughs> that would be awesome. And then we're just going to do a little bit, probably like a tablespoon, two tablespoons of olive oil, um, just to mix in those, make it really easy. Mm-hmm. And then a little bit of um, a really good balsamic. Okay. So you want to use a really good balsamic for this. And I'm just going to put a, about a tablespoon in there. And then at the very end, where you're going to use this balsamic glaze um, mm, to top yum. it off. And then, <laughs> so I'm going to do a little bit now. And then we'll do a little bit at the end as well. Okay. So we're going to mix all of this up. When and you again, mentioned a really good balsamic, how do you know the difference between a really good balsamic and maybe a not so great one, just yeah. the price tag or? <laughs> no, it's not. I would say that um, you, the Madonna okay. is really good. Mm -hmm. So I would really look for that on labels. Aged is really good as well. Okay. Um, price tag, of course. Um, you can find a $400 balsamic and I know that sounds <laughs> very crazy, but that is an actual thing. But it's and the same thing. thing with olive oils. But you really want to go with something that's basic mm -hmm. for your everyday cabinet. And you use um, one for cooking and then a better one for salads okay. and that kind of stuff. Gotcha. So this okay. is a great one. I actually don't know. I think I got that one at Trader Joe's. Trader okay. Joe's is great for that, too. Okay. So we have all of this, and it looks beautiful. Yeah. And then we're going to top this off with our basil just at the end. A little so bit more. Mm -hmm. A little bit more, and then our balsamic glaze. Mm. So you can make your own balsamic glaze. I love glaze. balsamic glaze. <laughs> so good. So good. So I would use a not so great balsamic glaze and saute it with a little bit of honey, good honey. Uh -huh. um, you make a great balsamic glaze. But if you're doing, uh, but just putting in that balsamic, we're going to toss that in. Okay. Um, with a good one. Mm -hmm. So we're going to toss that on the side, and Whoa. here we go. And do we want to let that chill for a bit? Yeah, so we're going to make this chill. We're going to actually do this in the morning so uh -huh. you have nothing else to do. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to, or you're going to call me, one or the other, make <laughs> it easier for yourself. Um, but you're going to do it in the morning, call me, or do it in the morning, toss it in the refrigerator, and mm -hmm. when your guests come over, you just have to pop this out. You have nothing else to That's do. It. it literally took maybe 10 minutes. Yeah. 
It's easy, delicious, and it will be a fan favorite. Your friends and family are going to love you this Easter. If you <laughs> so enjoy. Keep that one in the repertoire. You know, I have yeah. that on hand because you're going to be the one bringing the pasta salad every time there's a family <laughs> yeah. get together. Be like, yep, yeah, you're in charge of that. Yeah, you know that pasta salad you make with the glaze. Yeah, exactly. That. Yeah, very good. That one. Don't um, forget it or don't come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're going to be that. You're going to be that person on, on the guest list. Now that balsamic glaze, you can can actually buy it already made yes uh -huh. so we, it is it literally just says balsamic glaze right on there easy um, you can find that right next to your balsamics in um, at full whole foods or wherever yeah. in any grocery store in the aisle it'll be right next to your um, olive oil your balsamic vinegar and you'll have balsamic glaze right there as well yeah, that's one I probably just need to keep handy. But that could be dangerous. Yes. I can. I feel like I can drink that stuff. Oh. It's so good. <laughs> it's so tasty. Delicious. A little sugary, but it's so tasty. But it's so good. We'll pop that recipe up uh, on our website, WTOL.com. Folks will be able to see that. Get your ingredients together. Bring that to Easter, and you'll be doing it every year after that. <laughs> Chef Absolutely. Shereen, thank you for joining us this morning. It was a good one. Thank you, guys. Have a great week. Yeah, see you, you too. Take care.